this video, I'm going to show you how to build a foldable to include the information necessary to determine types of chemical bonds. In my class, typically we have eight substances that we have to classify in lab. Um, the eight substances uh, look like this. So this is number one through four. And just looking at these substances, number one through four, or in this case, five through six, you can't just look at the appearance of the substance and determine the chemical bond type. Um, you could make a kind of an educated guess, um, but you'd have to either know information about it uh, physically or chemically and how it behaves in lab. Um, the most common things that you'll check are solubility, conductivity, dissolving in water, um, or other substances or maybe also heating it, seeing if it's combustible. So what the foldable is gonna include is all the information necessary to determine the chemical bond type of substances that you might have in homework problems or in lab. So I'm gonna put these substances aside and show you the different kinds of um, chemical bonds. The foldable, when you're completed with it, can come in kind of three different types. These are two of them. The last one is where you'll actually end up with mini foldables that look like that. So you can kind of choose which one of these three you like best. Um, they're all going to include the four types of chemical bonds, which are ionic, covalent molecular, covalent networking, and metallic. And they're going to include the facts, which are going to be straight up just um, whether they dissolve in water or not, whether they have high melting points or boiling points, etc. And then the particulate drawings of why those behave that way, the, why those moleculars, networks, the metallics and the ionics behave that way, and a written explanation of why they um, do that. So on the inside, it'll include, at least on my Weebly, I have um, four specific facts for each type of, of bond type. And then after that, I have four drawings for each type of bond type. And after that, I have four written, very small paragraph written explanations of those um, different properties and why they exist. So whether you include them separately so that you can look at any of the foldables sections at any time, or whether you just decide to put them all on one big flap and you don't cut them, um, or the last option is by cutting them separate so that you can look at them individually and kind of look at each one. You know, for example, ionics are hard and rigid, crystalline solids, um, a particulate drawing of why they behave that way, and then a written explanation of why they um, do that. So to make this foldable, just kind of make your decision or choice as to which, you know, one of these that you like best. And again, to find the notes, you're going to want to go to chapter eight of covalent bonding, and you're going to want to go to my Weebly at schmidtchemistry.weebly.com. So here we go. Here's how you make that foldable. You need two pieces of computer paper and you're going to offset it by about a finger length. You're just going to fold them up and so you'll end up with um, three sections to include your facts and your drawings and your explanations. You're going to take that and fold it in um, half again and then take that section and fold it into fours like this. And once you've completed folding the sections so that you have four sections for those four types of chemical bonds, you're gonna staple the top. And then um, you'll have to decide again if you wanna keep these all intact or if you wanna cut them. So you'll end up cut the, cutting them like this if you want to just cut just those sections free. So it's just the top three sheets that get cut for each one. And then after you get done cutting them, um, you can label them. If you do choose to cut them completely free, you'll cut through the whole thing like this. That's an option. And then you'll want to label them with the four types of chemical bonding. Um, the first one being ionic bonding. And then what I did just to kind of make it a little bit more um, visible, I highlighted right underneath where those folds were. And then that's where I labeled the different things that we're going to include, which are the facts about that type of bond type, in this case ionic, the particulate drawings to show why those um, properties exist, 
and a written explanation of why those properties are the way they are for that type of bonding. And you just kind of continue with covalent uh, molecular, covalent network, and metallic. So the other thing I'd like you to include is on the back of these is to include, you know, in this case, some examples of that um, bond type. So in case of ionic, we've got sodium chloride or sodium bicarbonate. you got sucrose or water for covalent molecular, diamond and graphite, or aluminum and brass. So on the back, you'll also include um, examples of those types of bonds that you might run across in everyday life. So again, choose which one you like the best. They're all great. Okay, these are just mini ones. And again, the goal is to be able to decide when you have these substances, um, what kind of bond type exists in these substance bases based off their physical and chemical properties. Again, check out the notes at schmidtchemistry.weebly.com and it's part of chapter eight, covalent bonding.